Hey guys, I'm Alexandre Don and today we're going to do something pretty interesting. Today I'm going to show you how you can shoot only one shot and make an entire commercial with it. I'm not talking about shots that are one take shots. I'm just talking about one shot that can be altered and modified in a way that you can basically build a commercial around it. So to do that, we're going to start from scratch and we're gonna put our lights here and I'm gonna show you everything you need to do in order to get this right. So, let's get to work. Let's go! So the plan is very simple. I know that I want to shoot the product on a white background. So all I got to do is basically light the background as good as possible. Lighting white backgrounds can be a little bit tricky and I'm going to show you how I do it and usually I have good results. Then I want to set up the table with a white sheet on it and then a turntable on top of it and then we're going to place the product on a turntable. Then we're gonna light up the product as good as possible and then we're gonna set up our camera for the perfect angle. And the camera that we're gonna use plays a major role in making this possible because we need a camera that supports high resolution shooting, for example, 4K or 6K or even 8K. The more resolution you have, the more you can have fun in the editing room. So we're gonna use for this one a Zcam E2 F6, which is a full frame 6K camera. We're gonna begin the setup by placing our background lights, which will be the Nanlite Mix Panel 60. Those LEDs are awesome. I really love shooting with those ones. They are really small, but they have a lot of power. So you can also use them with V-mount batteries and all that. And I really love the fact that they are RGB. So those lights will make a really nice fit on the background and we're gonna be shooting that. We're gonna open our lights and see exactly how they look. The cool part about those lights is the fact that you can also set up your tent. So if I don't like exactly how it looks on the camera, I can go with the tent a little bit more green or I could go to a little bit of more magenta. So it's very easy to tune those lights to your correct settings or to your preferences. So I'm gonna set it back to zero. I'm gonna go open up this one too. Right now they heat the wall. Uh, to make it a little bit more even, I'm gonna move them just a little bit more to the back. And basically what we wanna do right now is we don't really wanna have that much spill on the product here. So what we're gonna do is probably we're gonna move the table just a little bit so we don't have spill from those lights on our product. Next, I wanna set up the table and I wanna make it white. So we're gonna bring the white sheet. So we're gonna put this white cover. I'm not gonna say shit any longer. It's not, how do you say it right? I don't know, but sorry if you, thought I'm talking about something else. <laughs> but anyway, um, it's not my native language, so it's kind of hard for me to speak fluently English sometimes. This is not the best one because it's kind of, yeah, now it's better. We're not gonna see it in the shot, but we're using it just to have reflection from it. So it's just like a bounce. Now we're going to put a turntable, which is not the best one I have, but it works. And here is the tricky part. We're not going to see the turntable and we're not going to see the table at all because I have a trick and that trick is a little bit of wine. No, I'm just joking. I'm gonna use this glass to put a product on and because the glass is transparent, we're not gonna see it. So I'm gonna place the product here. The product is gonna spin and it will be really easy for us 
to mask the product out of the shot. But I'm gonna get to that a little bit later. Until the next part, a little bit of wine. No, I'm not drinking alcohol, by the way. This is a thing that you might or not know about me. I don't smoke and I don't drink alcohol. So stay clean, guys. So what I'm gonna do right now is basically I'm gonna put a product on top of the glass or basically on its bottom. But the thing is, I'm putting the product like this because uh, I don't want to have more product being stuck on the glass and then whenever I remove it in post, I have to mask more. So I'm gonna put it like this because we're gonna have to mask less. And the thing with lighting, here's the nice part. We're gonna light up from up top and because everything is white here, we're gonna have a really beautiful reflection on the product and it's gonna be lit very evenly and very nice. So let's put the top light and um, move forward from that point. And for the top light, I'm gonna use the non-light Forza 60B. And this one is great because it's so small and you can place it on L stands very, very easy without having issues with it. So let's do that now. And I'm gonna show you how easy it is. So now that we have everything light up, we're gonna power on the camera and we're gonna look exactly how the shot looks, how the product looks and modify the lights accordingly to what we want. So uh, basically what I try to do sometimes is I try to expose the background more so I have the perfect white and the product exposed less than the background. So I have compensation between the background and the product. And therefore, I can obtain that beautiful white background that you see in commercials. Now that we have our top light set up, I'm gonna power it on and I'm gonna play a little bit with the exposure to have a little bit of a contrast between the top light and the background lights. So to get that beautiful white background, you have to do a trick. You have to have more exposure in the background and less exposure in front in order to have that compensation where the white is brighter, where basically the background is brighter and the product is less brighter, but still very good lit. And by doing that right now, we have really good exposure without even having to touch this light. Just I open it up. I think we are at 50%. Those ones are at 100 and now the product looks very good. I'm gonna spin it a little bit just to make sure the lighting is perfect on it. And so far, I really like what I see. One thing that I have to make sure when I'm gonna film the product is that the product is center and I don't have to work more in post-production because if it's not center, you're gonna have to move your mask a lot. So. Right now, I'm just gonna start the turntable. I'm gonna par I'm gonna press record on the camera, and this is it. This is the only shot I am allowed to take. And then we're gonna go into the editing room, and I'm gonna show exactly what to do in order to make a really cool commercial with just one shot. All right, guys. So we just got back from the shooting, and it's time to go inside DaVinci Resolve and. Um, post process the footage and show exactly what I'm gonna do with the shot in order to get the results that I want. So let's go. So now that we have DaVinci Resolve open, I'm gonna go at the shot and I already made my timeline as a 4K timeline. And if I drop the footage inside here, it will just work. So now we're gonna go to the next step. We're gonna go to the color menu and I'm gonna apply my Zcam LUT that I made specifically for whenever I film with a Zcam in the studio. And as you can see, it's very nice. If we look at the histogram, it kinda gets into the high dynamic range of the camera and it's nothing blown out, but I wanna lift the highlights a little bit and uh, lift the midtones a little bit and just add a little bit of shadow so I can make my footage look the way I want. So right now, I really like how it looks. We can see the 
image really good. We like the writing, we like everything how it sits. So now that we have our image to the way we want, we're gonna go to the next step where I'm gonna show you how to mask this slide in DaVinci Resolve. So I'm gonna make a new node and I'm gonna click right here and I'm gonna put an alpha output and I'm gonna link those two. And now if I make any modification to this and for example, if I make a mask, it's gonna be a, a mask with alpha output. So that is really cool. So we're gonna do this. I'm, what I'm gonna try and do right now is I'm gonna try to go at the beginning of the clip and I'm gonna start masking around the light. And um, I'm gonna just make a mask, something like this. And I'm gonna go back to the editing room and I'm gonna put a solid color. And I'm gonna lift the clip a little bit higher and I'm gonna place the solid color down below so I know what I do. And to give the solid color uh, the color that we want, we're gonna get the color picker and we're gonna choose the closest to the light. So as we're looking right now, it seems that it's not where we want. So I'm gonna play a little bit with it. Okay, we're gonna go back to the colors and what I'm gonna do is basically I'm gonna add to my mask a little bit of softness. So we're gonna go just around one. And if we look right now, it looks kind of bland then. We don't see edges, we don't see anything like that. So what we're gonna do next is obviously this is um, a little bit bad cut right here so we have to make sure maybe one is a little bit too high but we're gonna go to 150 yeah that looks really nice now we're gonna go to this section which is the keyframe section and here I'm gonna press keyframe on this one so it whenever I move something it will add a keyframe so right now we're making sure this looks pretty good and um, looks kind of nice. We're gonna go to a few frames more and I'm just gonna go with the mask and I'm gonna mask everything accordingly the way I want. This is pretty simple. You don't have to be exact. You can mask a little bit around it. So there's not an issue with that. And we're gonna do the same process all over again until we have everything masked out. This is a little bit time consuming, but as you'll see, it will go pretty fast. We just have to make sure it looks pretty nice. And as you can see right here, uh, we can uh, see that we already have two uh, keyframes for our masking. So we're gonna have to mask everything out. And I already did that to see that this video works or not, because I was a little bit afraid it might not work, but it seems that it worked as you saw in the beginning footage. And um, I'm gonna go to the timeline where you're gonna see exactly how I edit it. So basically what I did is um, I had one shot that I, of course it's lagging, but I had one shot that was, um, just let me find it. So I had this shot already prepared and it's spinning like this. And because I made a really nice masking and as you can see, I made tons of keyframes and I masked it really, really good. So, so whenever I play with this clip, I can rotate it. I can make whatever I want. So I can rotate the light while it's spinning, I can rotate it, I can do whatever I want. And because the masking is so good, I can actually duplicate it. I can actually put one in front of a, on another one or things like that. So you can really, really play out with the shots. You can make a ton of cool shots. For example, I can make three frames in a row and it can look really nice. So it all comes down to your creativity and what your what you want to do. Um, my beginning sequence was made really fast. I wanted to make something fast and really simple, but you can obviously go really high in uh, the amount of 
shots that you can make with this kind of technique. So I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did make sure to uh, subscribe and uh, let me know in the comments if this one helped you out. In the meantime, make sure to have some fun creating content and go out and shoot some epic content again. Like, yeah, just, you get a point. Anyway, thanks a lot, have a nice day and cheers.